Hey guys, welcome to Pine Badger Outdoors. Today, I'm not talking loud, because this is just our little version of a stealth camp. Now I'm in here early in this little patch of woods. The road is right there, the main road. And we've got our little snug pack set up. I had to put this scarf over my orange chair. And you can see here, I'm on an orange pad. But I'm trying to keep things broken up here. And I just used a little, this is my military poncho here for a tarp, just so I could have a little area tonight to sit. Possibly put the chair more over here and maybe have a coffee, something like that. So that's the plan. Show you what I did here in the background, guys. I used a little bit of camo net, and all I had for, and I mean only a little bit, and that's a mosquito net. And this is the poncho tied off. So it was raining earlier. I'm just gonna duck down here. When I say I'm close to the road, I'm not, I'm not really joking. But anyways, yeah, I um, just tied it off tied the neck and you know in a scrape it would make quite a little shelter for you actually you could lower it and actually just sleep so what I did today guys is all I packed this tiny little pack right here. Believe me, I will pick up this garbage. I'm just kind of... So, what I got in here today, I had the thrasher, because I did have to clear a few little sticks and roots, and I had that in the side pouch. Now, I don't know how many liters this is. If you watch my channel, I talked about this whole pack before. Uh, come from Walmart. It's by SOG. This is going to be my food. Get some leftover MREs. This is my stove today. I thought if it's going to be a stealth type situation, or I guess if you were going to bug out, you wouldn't want probably a lot of. This is just my little pot with coffee, whitener. Pillow. This is my uh, Four Season Ecotech insulated mat that I always use. Usually, unless I got Willie, then I use the uh, eggshell one and my zero degree one tigress. Now. now I think what I'm going to do, just for camouflage purposes, I do have two liters of water, by the way. Now I want to show you this. I did bring my windscreen because that's important with these little uh, stoves. Now, I bought this thing years ago in a little kit. Basically, it just looks like a cat food can, but this is probably 12 to 15 years old, and I tried one in one of my older videos, and the freaking thing still works. So, you put it on like this, 
and it come up just two little flat bars. You can tell how old it is. Now, the rather, oh yes, look at that. <laughs> I was going to say, rather I can get that back on there or not, because it's been years, and you can see how bent it is. You put that on there, and that's what's going to make our coffee tonight. Or at least that's the plan. I know the last can of that I used was from the same batch. And that helps it keeps it shaped. Um, it, it lit. I had that on one of my uh, little videos when me and Willie was getting some wood ready. So we're going to just do this like this. We're not going to get anything like this going until later, guys. I know I didn't do a walk-in and things like this, but... <laughs> It's also a new pair of gloves I bought at Walmart. They were down to 10 bucks, so I thought once I break them in, kind of bright right now, but they'll get stuff done. It's my cup. And you know what? I think for camo purposes, Maybe <laughs> we'll do something like this. So this thing will blend a lot better than that blue tarp. Now this is going to be the first night for me in this thing, guys. So, I'm going to leave that backpack right here. I think we'll be okay with that. So even though it's summertime, moisture is always an issue. that guys and I'll come back a little bit later on I run the thermosol by the way I'll come back a little bit later on but I'm gonna try to give you a little better run down here And like I said, guys, this I do believe would be a handy little setup in a bug out situation with the proper netting. And I will get some pro nature because like this is just something I threw together. I'm not going to go here too far, but there's no cars coming in. She's pretty invisible, guys. So anyways, we're going to go back in here. tonight and things like that 
and I think I'm going to bring a book. One of my subscribers asked me what I did after things were set up, and I u always, I, I do usually just lay down and go to sleep. And some nights I hear the coyotes, and that's really cool. But tonight I think I'm going to bring a book, because I think when I'm laying down here with this black tub floor, I think I'll be okay. And I got a book I'll bring, and I'll do a little bit of reading tonight. That's something I don't normally do. So thank you for that question. Anyways, uh, yeah. So we'll be back a little bit later on, guys, uh, and uh, film some more. Till later, guys. Thanks. Okay, guys. Blowing in a thunderstorm, I think. Woo! We're gonna go just in case mode. Just in case my tarp system don't hold out. We don't have a lot of room here, guys. Now, I just want you guys to know this is my little version of an urban stealth camp, guys. I mean, there's guys that do this you know, way better than I do. You can see I got a change of clothes. I'm about a kilometer. I went out the back way here and I went and I changed my clothes. These are more comfortable and they blend better. So anyway, we're staying dry right here. pretty friggin' awesome. I hope the camera can pick this up. Like I said, in a, in, a, in a situation, if this was lower to the ground, a little, uh, that little uh, ionosphere snug pack speeding off the water really, really crazy. And like I said, guys, this is just my little version of an urban stealth camp. This is not my thing. I'm more of a guy out in the woods, but I figure, you know what, for the first camp, we'll title it, title it as that, because that's kind of what it is. The road is right there. You'll hear the cars like crazy. 
and it was thundered earlier. It's supposed to rain through the night. A little bit here and there. I figure I'll get some footage. I'll get some footage now while it's raining. I don't have to be afraid to talk. Just gonna go check the camera here. That's the last thing is I want to do is ruin my camera. And I do have an old makeshift umbrella here, guys. Ooh, look at that rain. Kind of good, it's happening now because I know before I go to bed tonight, I got a stick right there. I'm going to put right here. That'll be pretty good, I think. Yeah. Well, for now. Ooh, that was quite a little shower, guys. I think I'll just lower that line before bed on that side. I'll lower it a bit. Because I think that was just a shower. But. It is calling for thunder showers. <laughs> And that's the only thing with these little cameras, maybe the more expensive ones, I suppose. The little camera, I'm always charging one of the batteries. I'm just forever charging one of the batteries. So, yeah. try
going here. Yes it is. So we're going to put that there. And we're going to get us a little coffee going. And I figure with the windscreen I don't even have the proper camo net because even when I do the wilderness camp with this thing I'm going to get a little um, just a cheap camo net but to be so close to the road and be invisible is pretty cool You guys can hear that thunder. I will need to fix that. But anyways guys, I think I'm just going to sit here and make a coffee and listen to the thunder. And if we get any more crazy rain like that, I'll bring you back because we seem to be having a little break within the rain now. So. Anyways, I'll bring you back a bit later, guys. Hey, guys. Just show you the little layout here for tonight. I'm probably going to scoop down a little further, but uh, I brought my little fan. I did because it's so muggy and hot. There's a little block with this. This little light I bought at the dollar store. And uh, <coughs> I don't know if it's the Isaiah Survival Handbook. I'm going to read that tonight. So that's basically it for me for tonight, guys. I lay here, relax, and it's supposed to rain through the night. If it does, I might uh, come back with some uh, tape a little bit, video a little bit, whatever. If we're lucky. We, uh, kept our spot here pretty good, I think. And like I said, we're laying on the ground now, so worried about these lights showing and this light here will be going out this one is just if I decide to read or something I'm going to lay here for a while with the screen open slow down unless the night is on because it's a little after 8 o'clock so it's early to be in the tent especially a little one like this but well it's a good test I guess it's a good test it's dry though so far inside but it should be I mean I just got in here before I go to bed I'll probably close it up but anyways I will check in in the morning, guys. So far, so good. Try to get used to these cars. 
Anyways. Later, guys. Well, morning, guys. I'm back at the house. And I just got up this morning and I pretty much bailed up and I headed for home. And it's a nice morning this morning, but I'm going to tell you one thing, guys. Uh, I tip my hat or my toque to the guys that do the, the legit stealth camping. Because me, that was just a little try and it was close. And the whole point of, you know staying low for so long and I mean it was the little tent turned out really nice it didn't rain much through the night not enough to tape or video or anything like that I didn't sleep that great last night and I'm going to tell you why it's not used to being that close to the road camping and but it wasn't overly noise but it was the freaking heat it was just muggy last night and I didn't sleep well at all so I think we'll wait a couple more weeks before we do any more uh, and it'll be back to the wild camping because the stealth camping uh, it was fun it's not really uh it's not really my my bag uh but i tried it you know so anyway guys all in all it was a pretty good night i guess us you know we made it outside of the heat it was just sticky and not nice to sleep at all there's nothing you can do when you get warm you can cover up but anyways I bundled some stuff away and I hung a few things when I got in the yard here but so anyway guys this one is another one in our books at the Badger Pine Badger Outdoors I don't think the stealth camp urban stealth camp is our thing but <coughs> so anyway guys if uh, you like my little videos hit the subscribe button click the bell to be notified leave some comments if you like them and until next time guys keep on camping with the badger thank you guys this one this one was different <laughs> thank you guys